Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So, are you ready for this? I don't know if you are. Ready? This is my new nose. My smiling is still awkward because my top lip is stiff, but surprise! Um, so, I don't know how to contour for shit, let alone contour my nose. So this is it, this is how it looks, this is 100% real and natural results. Again, don't mind the way my lips are moving, my upper lip is still a bit tight and it might look a bit weird, like I'm looking at myself right now, I'm not really loving how it's looking, but this is it. So welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new to my channel, don't forget to press that subscribe button and of course the notification bell to stay up to date for weekly uploads. Oh my god, I'm really loving my nose. I'm sorry, this is the first time I filmed. I've been doing TikToks, but it's really not the same because yeah, now I just like fully see, oh my god, I love it. So I was really nervous to film this video, but my previous video, if you haven't watched it, make sure to go watch it after you finish this video, of course, or watch that and come back to this, whichever you prefer. But I did a full vlog documenting my entire recovery process. And well, I would have found it very helpful because I literally just, if you know me, I talk a lot. So I documented the whole thing, swelling, pain, um, anesthesia, how I felt when I woke up every single day. So go watch that if you're thinking about a nose job or are just interested. But after that, I got some really positive feedback. So thank you to everyone. And people were excited to see my nose, which made me nervous because I was like, okay, this is pressure. I'm supposed to have the perfect nose now. So I was kind of like, oh shit. Um, do I want to have this? And let's rewind back and look at what happened last week when I got my cast taken on. Hi, good morning guys. I woke up so early this morning, I don't know why, but it is nose day again, nose day part two. <laughs> well, every day has been nose day. But I'm taking it off. I was just going through these um, papers they gave me because my mum has been asking me when I can come to see her and I know they told me I was going to have another appointment but I actually have one, two, three, four, five appointments scheduled already. So my one today, then I have one on the 8th, so in a week from now again. And then I have one on the 6th of August, the 1st of October, and the 7th of January next year. Like, isn't this great? It's all planned on a sheet. Wow, I love it. Um, puts a bit of a dent in my summer. <laughs> Jokes, we don't have a summer. Um, I'm super sleepy, oh my god. Sorry, that was a yawn. <laughs> I hate it because when you yawn, your nostrils kind of flare and I don't really like the feeling. Hi guys, so I just had a long Zoom call with my sister. Uh, make sure to drink your vitamins. Anyways, and I'm actually quite emotional about taking off my cast today. I I've grown quite fond of it. Um, you may wonder why, since I've obviously struggled with it. I'm really pleased with, especially my left nostril, that's obviously um, why I got the operation in the first place. And listen to this. I can breathe, and I know you hear like it's kind of blocked. Well, that's this nostril, because I've had problems cleaning it. It's, I can feel f like complete airflow. It feels amazing, and that's still with tubes inside. I can't imagine what it'll be like without tubes. She did mention though, and this is a reminder for everybody, do not get too excited when you are removing your cast. Obviously it's an exciting time, but your nose will still be swollen. It could possibly be lumpy because obviously it's still been under huge amount of pressure and um, surgery 
and although you have a cast the second the cast comes off it could swell up it could um, be bloody or bruised or anything like that I did tell her like at least my bump will be gone but then she was like well there could actually be a bit of a bump from swelling because that's obviously where the, the most amount of work happened over there and here hence why my nostrils are different sizes as well so just bear that in mind it could take up to a full year for your actual nose to reveal itself but after month six it should be like 90 percent or something like that anyways i'll give you more details after my post-op appointment today but that's the current situation touch wood that it will look fabulous but although i've only had it on for eight days now it's like my security blanket, you know what I mean? It's kind of like my friend now that takes care of my nose. By the way, it goes with my outfit. I'm quite chuffed. <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, there you go. I managed to catch a proper sneeze on camera. Yesterday I did it too. These were quite loud. And my dad was like, congratulations. Did you catch it for the vlog? Well, no, I didn't, but now I just did. It caused my nostrils to flare slightly, but high five to me. Okay, Dad, are you ready to vlog my cast removal? Nope. <laughs> so here you see me taking off my cast and I actually, it was really like, okay, I wouldn't say really painful because it was just like five seconds or something, but it was very painful. <laughs> it was painful. And she even said so herself that it would be painful. But your brains are coming out. <laughs> They're huge. Like who knew? My nose, my little petite nose right now <laughs> fit those huge tubes in. And that was not painful at all. It was just the cast that was painful. It was a weird feeling as the surgeon said, like it's just gonna feel a bit strange. Oh, hi guys, so I just took my cast off as you guys saw, but I still haven't seen my nose. I didn't ask to see it or anything. And I am going to do a big reveal after I get home. So you guys have already possibly seen it a bit, but I'm really excited. I'm kind of nervous as well. I think I see some bruising, so that's fun. Um, but yeah, I hope this goes well. Oh my God, I kind of just want to look at it now. <sighs> willpower, Nelly, you got the willpower, but listen to this. I can breathe. There is so much oxygen flowing through my nostrils right now. Like, I didn't realize how blocked my nose was. And also, when my nose had the things in, it felt like I could breathe as much through my left nostril as I've always been able to breathe, or a tiny bit more even. So now it just feels like there's just so much air flowing through it. It feels weird. Basically, I was going to do a whole reveal on camera, and then I, my dad was kind of like, just have a look at it. So then I did have a look at it, and I, like, just, I feel so, okay, kind of embarrassed to show you my nose right now. But then I was like, you know, this has to be a real vlog, and everyone swells differently, and maybe you guys will swell up too. I have to show you the reality and again i am so glad i have two sisters that i've gone through this because i'm just texting them now and my sister nicole she just told me she even deleted her selfies she took and to look at the swelling because she just looked so weird and it was so big so i am glad like the bump is clearly gone 
Um, I have two black dots here that they told me about, and that's um, there because they had used these two points to help break my nose in the operation. So that will go, and obviously I can't go into the sun, otherwise they might scar a bit. My nose is very itchy, but I don't want to touch it. I mean, I suppose I am happy, so, like, I just had a little breakdown because I was voice noting my sis. But it will go down. I know it will. it's swollen now. The cast was so painful to take off. I have just been, it's literally just seven days since my surgery, so it's natural to be swollen and bruised and like i mean it is already a huge difference i kind of had a breakdown and then my dad gave out to me like he was literally like cop on natalie like you're it looks great the bump is not there and blah 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 and at least you can breathe and that is true like my breathing is so much better i can already tell like it's great and my swelling will go so yeah, this is the real me, this is the nose reveal, like, that's obviously still swollen, she said. I have to go back for the stitches next week, and it was quite cool, actually. They put a camera up my nose to see how the healing was going inside, and it was so pain-free, unlike when I had to put a camera up my nose in the consultation. So that was great as well, and I actually don't mind my side profile now, even though it's swollen. I'm glad that I can still stay at home for a while and recover so I don't have to show my face in public. They gave me my cast still, it's quite cool, and I still have it. And I just have to put it on when I sleep at night because they said that um, you just don't want anything banging. If you kind of do move around, then you like don't want anything to hit it. So this is this, this is the big reveal. I don't know if my sister is just trying to be nice to me or if it actually was the truth, but she just replied saying that hers looked even worse than mine, so yeah. Also, I'm just re-watching the videos my dad took of me and the tube that was in my nose, oh my god, it's huge. So obviously I don't really want to be showing myself on camera right now. I mean, you know, usually people don't want to show themselves on camera without makeup or anything. I have no problem with that at all. I have no problem when you see me right when I wake up or however. But this is, I'm not very happy with myself right now. But it's okay. I have come to terms with the fact that it is just swelling. It has already gone down since this morning when I first got my cast taken off. As my sister said, your my nose has gone through trauma. It has been operated on, it has been broken. Also, the bruising here is obviously the most sensitive part and that's where my bump was, hump. Anyways, um, so I just have to clean my nose again as usual and that's basically the update actually um so although i don't really want to be sharing this part of my vlog i feel like it's necessary because in literally zero of all the five billion thousand trillion vlogs and videos i've watched not one single one showed the like swelling as bad as this and I've, I saw some people had like worse swelling in their face throughout, like as you can see my bruising isn't bad and stuff like that, but um, apparently this is, this is totally normal and um, I saw other people like on real self had this and stuff like that, so I'm just here to give you the true real nose job situation sorry maybe i should turn on this light is this better oh, so much better i'm so sorry guys oh my god but it's not better because now you can see me clearer but yeah as you can see you can literally see how swollen it is too but that's okay guys because i have my best friend my new fashion accessory and it's my cast oh it kind of hurts to put it back on but so i just have to oops that's the wrong way around i just have to ow <laughs> And it sticks right back on, so yay. I will see you guys tomorrow and good night, sleep tight. I hope you stay for my last update. 
Please don't judge my potato on my face. I promise it'll get better. So there you have it guys and because of the traumatic experience I had when removing my cast, I decided I have to do a whole video on this because I don't want people not realizing this aspect of nose jobs and it's really important. And on the day of my cast removal, I was super pumped, like I was so excited. I knew there would be swelling, but I watched every single video on YouTube. I was like, okay, I think I'm kind of prepared for this, you know what I mean? And then my sister was like, please don't get excited, Nanli. Like you don't, like just don't get excited. This is not the day you're gonna see your nose, blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, what is she talking about? Like I've seen <laughs> nose job vlogs, you know, what does she know? And well, don't watch other vlogs. <laughs> okay, I'm not saying that because obviously you have to watch mine, but you know, you're watching mine already. So, um, but literally I was just not expecting it and I weeped. I cried. I thought I was ready for it, but I clearly was not. So I really, really want you to prepare yourself for the moment you get your cast taken off. You're going to have a potato on your face. It's inevitable. Okay, some people might not if your surgery wasn't as severe. I got my nose, as my dad says, you paid someone to break your nose, Nelly, and to literally like drive over your face. So I'm gonna come a bit closer. Sorry about my makeup, by the way. My skin has been acting up a bit because I haven't been able to do my full skincare routine because I am very cautious about my nose. It is still super sensitive. So don't judge the makeup. It is very flaky and weird and patchy. Um, also, my face is very shiny. Anyways, if you see here, you might not see that well. I have my two dots where they broke my nose. I got my septoplasty. I got my hump removed. So it's natural if you think about it that when you get to cast removed, your not only was it swollen already, but taking off the cast, the cast was the one thing that was kind of keeping it down. So it obviously just poofs up. And well, I'm actually glad I didn't see it in the doctor's office because I would have cried in front of her and I just needed my time to myself. My dad gave that to me, did not understand. He thought I looked great and I was just like, this is not the time to be a dad, dad. You have to be honest with me, just let me know and admit it. It looked like a potato, a bruised potato. So now it's exactly eight days past my cast off day and it is still swollen. I can see, I've been taking pictures every day to see the difference and it goes up and down. I'm still icing my face, I'm still doing my smoothies. I will be doing a full video on my recovery hacks because I think I actually did have a very good recovery and it's like the universe is on my side as my friend said. Um, my bruising went down right before my cast off day. My swelling on my face was off, like gone before cast off day. And like right now, when I went to my surgeon two days ago to get a cleaning of my nostrils, she was like, wow, I'm so surprised at how quickly your swelling is going down. So, you know, it's going pretty well and I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a full, beautiful view of my nose. Bear in mind, again, it is swollen, so um, yeah, here it is, front, side, three quarter, front, no deviation anymore. Look at that. And I'm really happy, as you can see there, it is straight. It is also super straight from the front. Like my nose used to be very uneven, like very, very thin hair and bulbous hair. By the way, the tip is always the most swollen and takes the longest to completely get rid of swelling. So hence it's still a bit bigger. Um, but now like look at that, how straight down it goes. And it's just amazing because I love how natural it looks as well. I'm, I'm just in love with it. and. Although I struggled a lot, I had to have pet talks, I cried on the phone to my sister, I am happy with it now and I see, although, okay, I can say I see the results, but again, I'm in week one and I have 
five months and three weeks to give or technically a year because it's fully visible at a year but there you go for week one another thing i want to let you know look at this like how awkward is that smile yeah i don't know i really hope it goes back to normal i think it's because it still feels tight and i've been laughing a lot and stuff so it's getting a bit better i have full range of movement again of my jaw i can eat loads again i can take big mouthfuls the only thing is my smiling like look how awkward that is it just gets a bit tight here my nose is still super sensitive and it sometimes hurts it feels like there might still be a cast or something on it like it just feels like there's a bit of pressure but other than that i think my healing is going pretty well i am still doing my full cleaning routine and i highly recommend it because your nostril like inside your nose inside your nostrils is a wound so you need to be cleaning that and make sure it stays open my breathing is so much better not i mean obviously since they took out my tubes but also since my deviation is gone like i just have so much more oxygen it almost feels like my nostrils are cold with like the airflow <laughs> i also wanted to comment on the fact that many people have been messaging me or i've been hearing from people that um they think i'm really brave for coming out with this surgery and i just wanted to say that um my opinion is on this is quite strong and that is that everyone of course likes to be liked and it's a natural thing but you can't really live like that because there will always be haters and the haters will always find you so you might as well just embrace what you are happy with if that makes sense like just you know be yourself and if you want to do something for yourself for your own reasons remember to going through with a surgery like this should only be for your own personal reasons and for yourself. You shouldn't change yourself for anybody else or for the ideal beauty type or anything like that. But I do want people to realize that surgery shouldn't be a taboo. It isn't. Like, I mean, if you want to go to change something about yourself for aesthetic reasons or for health reasons or for any sort of reason, it's down to you and it's your choice nobody else's choice so you shouldn't feel bad about it and i know it's still a bit of an awkward thing to talk about or people don't really want to admit to it but at the end of the day i'm pretty sure people would have noticed that there is no more hump on my nose which i'm happy about and if they wouldn't have noticed that's fine as well but i did want to help people and share my experience with them so i thought you know what i'm just gonna go all out with this and then i feel <laughs> i've learned from experience that uh, if you do go all out with something and if or if you just accept something or ignore the haters Then they can't really say anything to your face Like are they saying something about my nose job? Maybe but have they said it to my face? No Why is that because I am being so open about it and just like you know, I don't care I have gotten a nose job. It was a septoplasty and a rhinoplasty. Did I do it for cosmetic reasons? Yes. Did I do it for health reasons? Yes. Do I have to explain myself? No. So just bear that in mind. And I really do hope you stay positive about yourself and that you don't get much hate. And don't give me hate because I don't need that negative energy. Thank you very much. I'm happy with my nose. And yeah. I think that's kind of the end, my last message I wanted to share with you guys. But there's still a little bit of bruising here especially, and a bit here. This nostril is a bit more sensitive, but other than that, I think it's all healing really well. So another view, because I just love it! And I will be doing a six month update and a year update so make sure you do press that subscribe button and of course give me a thumbs up and follow me on instagram and on tiktok because you know although my tiktok went viral and tiktok deleted it so i hate you for that tiktok because you know a nose job is not a taboo so don't delete nose job videos sorry just you know and for all those girls that are scared and worried or guys don't be because again it's your own choice and 
you're gonna be actually surprised yes there will be haters but i've gotten a lot of positive feedback all these people are saying like hope your healing goes well hope your recovery goes well hope you get the result you like and i was actually surprised because i wasn't expecting any of that like i didn't even think that people would accept this from me like i know i went all out with it but i didn't expect people to be so accepting and loving about it so thank you to everyone and i hope you love my nose as much as i do and my awkward smile. So there we go. Oh my god! Um, what else do I have to share with you guys? I don't know. So I'm gonna show you some pictures of the, as the days went on. Here it's my crying first day of cast removal. I thought I was gonna show you a great after video and then i realized i can't show my face to the camera ever again and then we moved on to the day after it was so much better i was like oh my god thank god but i was still like i don't think i can be seen in public what the hell am i gonna do thank god it's corona because i can stay inside all the time also the universe is on my side because it is raining and it's been raining for the past two weeks and i i just feel blessed right now yeah so that was the day after and then as you can see i think i don't know if it was just my body is healing pretty quickly or the icing, just a combination of factors. And I'm really happy with how quickly the swelling has gone down so I'm able to face you. And today is actually my first restaurant outing. So I'm excited for that. Hopefully I don't look too shabby. Um, I'm just gonna leave this makeup on even though it's kind of weird feeling. I wanna wash my face. Well, I just wanna scrub it to be honest. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to add a little insert. I am cooking currently, but it just came to mind. Make sure you time your surgery well. Touch wood, we won't have another pandemic or lockdown situation, but um, your recovery time matters a lot. You need to be resting, but not only do you need to be resting, you don't want to be seen with a potato on your face. Well, that was my first thought anyways. And although your swelling does go down pretty quickly, I mean, week one week, like my surgeon told me I could go back to work or school after 10 days. I'm still just lying on the couch. My dad comes home and says, oh, you haven't moved off the couch. No, I haven't moved off the couch. Am I planning on? No. <laughs> so yeah. Let's be honest, I'm being really lazy. Uh, I'm making the most of this recovery time. Um, but on a real note, you although you can go back to school and back to work after 10 days, um, you might want a tiny bit more to rest and also just bear in mind everyone's swelling is different so although you might not have it as bad as I had it, you could possibly have it worse and it could take a bit longer to go down the initial bit of swelling. So I am so lucky because I had initially planned my surgery for April and I was supposed to go back to uni like two weeks or one week later, like literally I was supposed to take off my cast and then that same two days later or one day later go back to uni and do exams and stuff so i'm so happy that didn't happen although i could have faced people like this you never know so just better safe than sorry oh, and by the way i just wanted to add one more thing that your nostrils will keep changing size and now with the swelling so sometimes as you can probably see now um your nose will keep changing and looking different every single day so don't focus on it too much. I'm not really one to speak because if my sister is watching this, she's probably laughing and being like, Nelly, why don't you listen to your own words? Cause I am literally focusing on it so much, but I'm trying not to, like I am really loving it and just focus on the positives. It will look great and trust your surgeon. On that note, I just wanted to add that I didn't upload a pre-operative vlog, but I did film all my consultations and everything up until my day of surgery. So if you do by any chance wanna see that, how I chose my surgeon, all the tests I had to do for my septoplasty, um, how I decided on my nose, etc., etc., then do comment down below because I will upload it. So show my nose some love and give this video a like. 
that's my video for today. If you have any more questions, feel free to DM me on Instagram or comment down below because I'd be more than happy to reply to any of them. I will be making more videos in the near future, including my recovery hacks video. So again, don't forget to press that subscribe button and the notification bell. And I'd love your support. So do share my video with anyone that you know that's thinking of doing their news or that's just interested as well because I think I deserve that support. And I'll see you guys soon.